So, did you find anything? Or do you need my help? We discovered a cave that was inhabited a long time ago by a whole group of people, mostly natives, who had obviously created a sacred site, as the place was guarded by a creature. And have you found traces of our holy founder? New relics? Perhaps some tablets? There were also frescoes on the site, representing Saint Matthias. Frescoes? Tell me more. This is fascinating. He was shown having his face painted by a native. On another, he prayed to the god of the mountain. You... you can't be serious. You mean to say that our saint converted to the cult of the islanders? That is what emerges from our findings, yes. Other objects that I was able to bring back also point in this direction. Look, there are inscriptions. These tablets and also this chaplet. This chaplet? I cannot believe it. It is so... Excuse me. I cannot find the words to express how I feel. You must come with me. We must go and present all these discoveries to the Mother Cardinal. You realize our entire dogma will have to change. So far, anyone who wanted to question it would have burned their fingers. Literally, alas. And you think that this time they'll listen? We have solid proof. All this evidence. With your support, we will convince her to reveal the truth. I see. I will do my best to help you. It seems we are arriving right on time. You did well to warn us, Brother Virgil. Virgil? How did you know? I'm afraid that Your Excellency's lies weren't very convincing. We were informed of your discoveries and of the danger they represent. We demand that you hand them over to us immediately so that they can be destroyed. How can you even suggest the destruction of relics written by the hand of our founder? Out of love for our dogma, for our faith, and for our nation. But since you refuse to comply with our orders, you leave us no choice. Death to the heretics! There's poison on my blade. Then let's go! my own brothers in faith. The fact that the Inquisition is after us is very disturbing, Excellency. We would do well to hasten to San Mateus. They will not dare to attack you there, even if these men were the last forces that the Inquisition could send us. You are right. All this proves is that I will not succeed without your help. There is a risk that the Mother Cardinal will also reject our discoveries. I suppose I could use what I learned about her to persuade her. And I could bring Petrus with me. He will surely find the words to convince her. That would be most helpful. Father Petrus is renowned for his eloquence. In any case, we must present our research to Mother Cardinal as soon as possible. I will study the tablets one last time to make sure I know all their content. 
and I will meet you at the palace in San Mateus to plead our case. Understood. See you soon, Sister Eugenia. Be careful. Ah, Your Excellency. We were eagerly awaiting your arrival. Sister Eugenia was just recounting me the tale of your achievements and telling me about the incredible discoveries you've made. These relics shed a new light on the last years of our founder, 
It all demonstrates that he hadn't evangelized the islanders, but on the contrary, he would even have adopted some of their rituals, merging the cult of the enlightened and the cult of nature in a single dogma. These discoveries, if they can be verified, are extraordinary. But they also represent a great upheaval that could harm our nation. We must first verify their authenticity. You are the only ones who entered this cave. Could what you have witnessed been a falsification? The cavern we discovered is located in a very remote place. There's no island or village nearby. It contains some ruined dwellings, but clearly no one has lived there for a very long time. Fraudsters would inevitably have left traces of their passage, and we have not found any. The entrance to the cave was protected by one of those giant creatures that the natives call a Nardaig. These guardians usually protect sacred places, and let no one enter without a fight. I had to kill this beast. Which leads me to think that nobody had entered the cave for a very long time. We discovered ancient frescoes on the walls of the cave. They represent Saint Matthias without a doubt. He's depicted with his chaplet. In one, he is praying for the divinity of the island. In the other, his face was being painted by a native. I understand how shocking these discoveries are, but their antiquity proves that they are genuine. The tablets found at the site, however, attest that our founder had not abandoned the cult of the Enlightened. He simply saw it as two different reflections of the same divine power. The relics could be authentic, Your Excellency, but we only have your word to convince us. The political and religious impact of these discoveries will be unprecedented. We risk schism, civil war, and who is to say that this is not a plan to weaken us? It seems that you only see the negative aspects of this discovery, but the reality is very different. By integrating some of the natives' beliefs into your dogma, you could build an alliance with them, something no other nation has managed to achieve before. It is a good argument, Your Excellency. I hadn't thought about that. I would also like to inform you that a member of the Ordo Luminis was part of the expedition. He tried several times to sabotage it, even killing many of his colleagues for it. And finally, he attacked us, as we were preparing to join San Mateus. You'd have thought that the remaining members of the Order would go to such extremes. But I fear these attacks are just a reflection of what will happen if your discoveries are made public. Your Eminence. We are faced with a crucial choice for our nation. What does a man of faith do in such a dilemma? He prays and places his trust in the one who came before him and has shown more wisdom. Saint Matthias shows us a new way. If we are believers, can we really turn our backs on him? You surprise me, Petrus. You who are always so political, yet your words seem sincere. You give me something to think about. Thank you. If my people knew that the great sage they had long respected is the same man as your saint, and that your priests respected our culture as he did, they would be welcomed here as brothers. And the Eden we wanted to build would be everywhere. You speak sense, princess. Does anyone wish to add anything? I understand your doubts about the future, which are inevitably caused by such a revelation. You hesitate just as St. Lucius did to tell us about the journey of his master. Yet in the end, he revealed what he knew, and his words still guide Teleme today. Thank you for your testimony. I will now retire to think about everything and make my decision. After careful consideration, I have decided that it is my duty to reveal your discoveries to the world. 
It will take years for our theologians to study all of this, but our dogma must follow the path opened by Saint Matthias. Thank you, Your Eminence. I would be delighted to help with the study of these relics. I don't doubt it, my dear. And I would like you to take me to see this cave. I look forward to worshipping at the place where our holy founder ended his days. As for you, Your Excellency, I thank you for the help you have given us. Your sincere insight has encouraged me to make this difficult decision. It was my pleasure. Let me also thank you, Your Excellency. Without you, we would still be in the shadows. Thank <laughs> you.